Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a very instructive chess game. This is the game between Taubenhaus and Smorotsky that was played in St. Petersburg in 1914. Where is St. Petersburg? It is a city in Russia and it's also known as Leningrad and Petrograd. Let's go back into the game. White started with e4. Black played c5 and we have Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, knight to c6, d4, pawn takes pawn, knight takes on d4, knight to f6, attacking pawn on e4, knight to c3 defending, d6, bishop to e2, and black played g6. And we have dragon variation of Sicilian defense. Bishop to e3, bishop to g7, and white played. Unusual move, h3. Let's go back. The most popular move in this position is castling kingside. Another one is knight to b3. And also queen to d2 is very popular. Idea is to castle queenside and to push h4 pawn. Okay, let's go back to our game. h3 was played. Black castled kingside. Queen to d2 looks like that white is planning to castle a queenside and push pawn to g4. a6 was played and now it appeared that white changed his plan. Instead of castling he played rook to d1. He wanted to play safe chess. Queen to c7, g4, and black played b5. It appears that b5 looks aggressive, but it is not the best move. g5 attacking knight, and after black played knight to d7, black's position was totally lost. Let's go back. It appeared that taking knight on d4 is better move. And after pawn takes on f6, knight takes on c2, queen takes on c2, bishop takes on f6, bishop to d3, white is better, but black is still in the game. After knight to d7, black's position can't be repaired anymore. Now knight, black knight that was on f6 is not protecting d5 square anymore. So knight to d5, attacking queen, queen must move, queen to b7, knight takes knight, queen takes on c6. And in this position I wanted to make a joke, but I couldn't, because what happened next is a real tragedy. White horse jumped to e7 with check and after black played king to h8 white horse kicked queen in the jaw and she died as a result of her death black resigned what a tragedy what a powerful horse and let's go back to some critical positions of the game in this position after a6, white made a good decision to play rook to d1. If he continued with his intentions to castle queenside, then bishop to d7 and after g4, b5, and black would have very good chances attacking castled white king on the queenside. Another critical position is after white played g4 and black played b5. b5 is a mistake. Bishop to e6 is better move. And black really shouldn't worry if white takes on e6. If white takes, then pawn takes on e6 and now pawn is controlling d5 square and knight can't jump to d5. And from this position, black would have very good chance to fight back. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.